Hey guys, it's Gray here, and this time I'm doing Arkham City's Certified, and this was from Escape Stick, uh, Rebe uh, Escape, I can't say it, Escape uh, Stick Republic, Nightwing's baton. As we all know, he always carries his batons. It's one of the few things that Batman taught Nightwing when he was Robin. Never, ever, and I mean ever, kill anyone. So that's why he uses a, a baton that literally electrifies people. Like a taser. Really, what, what kind of person carries this on their back? What happens if, say, oh, I don't know, um, someone accidentally presses the button behind him and it's raining? And you have two of them, and enough is to knock out one man. But it, it does a whole bunch of stuff. It lights up if you hold down the button actually on the one end. But if you hold the other end, it vibrates the whole thing. So it feels like when you hit someone, like it's a vibe, like an electrocution sensation. Also has this little button that makes it extend. It still lights up even if you do that on both sides. I would say this thing is lightweight, but I don't understand how it attaches to anything. Like, in the, some of the shows and movies, it shows that Nightwing carries it on his back and he doesn't have any holsters. So is it, like, supposed to be magnetic or something? Like, I get the Nightwing mask. That, that makes sense. This, it looks just like his old Robin one. There's different variations of it, black or blue. I got one of the black ones. But, like, because that's, a, like, a memory foam that's attached to it that literally bends to the mask whenever he moves his face. So, the detailing stays the same no matter what he does. So, he doesn't actually have a strap for it. But, I put a strap because, you know, eventually that foam wears down over time. So... Yeah, that's why I got that one with the strap instead of the one with the memory foam thing. But the batons, I don't understand how he attaches it to his back since he's wearing a spandex suit that's body armor. Yeah. But the baton is one of the coolest weapons. So, like, you can use it in short range attacks or in long range attacks. Either way, it's a dangerous weapon to have. I would say it is one of the few things that the only downside is you have to push it back together so and there's no off button whatsoever on this thing so until the batteries die you're kind of stuck with it unless you take out the batteries but you know what happens if you take out the battery sometimes it eventually depletes the battery or damages the item before it, the batteries die so but yeah, this is actually based off the video game, um, Batman Arkham City. So, but it is cool, though the only downside is you have to use the small batteries. And it even shows you what size or which type on the bottom of the box. It says batteries not included. Please do not dispose of the batteries. Do not trash this. It is actually, weirdly enough, not recyclable either. But it is... One of the few things that I bought it cheap, actually, at the Walmart. Now it's somewhat like 30 or 40 bucks now, which is shocking to me. I don't get it. I don't get it. I buy something for 10 bucks and then it's 40 or 30 bucks later. Mm. But then again, like the only downside is the, the batons is there's no actual... And if you actually look at this whole thing, there is no way to attach this to a costume, actually. If you're going with cosplay, you have to carry the baton the, around the whole time unless you make a holster for your back. But then that ruins the costume because, like, as you can see in this, there is no straps on his body whatsoever. So you actually have to sew the holsters into the suit or wear them underneath somehow. But yeah, I would say everything's cool on this other than that. The 
only downside is you would have to literally carry this around if you go to cosplay or anything. So my recommendation would be probably best to get this, but only for display purposes only. Yeah, at least that's me. But then again, I'm going to be the crazy idiot that next time there's a Comic-Con, I'm going to actually bring a prop with me. Which I probably shouldn't do, because considering those things are valuable as hell. But this is an exact replica from the video game. The only downside is that in order for it to make a sound, like, and I'm glad they did this, like, the button actually has to be pressed down on either side so imagine holding this thing you have to hold it like this with your pinky on it the whole time for it to keep on lighting the whole way through yeah unless you duct tape that or something it's not going to do anything for you there's no hold down button there's no none of that so well i hope you guys like the video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye